Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Oh, let me hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Is that better? Oh, that's nice. Dang, the colors are popping. I'm looking fresh today. Um, so I am out here in Nevada. My nephew has a big bull tag out here. It started yesterday. Um, so I cruised out um, last night late to help glass and see if we can find him a big bull. This is an area that I, I like to shed hunt. It's an area that I like to hunt. I know there's big bulls here, but it is a rough year out here. Like powdery, dry, dusty, just like everybody said it was. So that's what we're dealing with. I spent the morning kind of, I say spent, it's only been light for about a half hour, but I've just been driving and glassing um, some of these cow tanks out here to see if they have water in them and to see if uh, there's any elk sign on them at all. But so far everything's been dry. Uh, they probably pulled the cows out of here a while ago um, because the feed is garbage. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. I know that there is a spring over here that will have water for sure. I'm just right on the boundary of the private. So I'm gonna pop over and check that one next, glass some faces and see if we can't get a good bull turned up. They saw a decent bull um, last night. Um, but they weren't quite ready to shoot it yet. So my nephew McKay, he has two weeks, I think, to get this tag filled. So we're going to put in the time. Hopefully this week we can get him a bull killed before I have to head to Arizona for my big bull tag. So that's what we're doing right now. Just putting some miles on the glass. You know how to do. somewhere you can see ya. Come on, pop out. When it happens, it happens fast. Man, I haven't filmed for, um, I think the last time I filmed was about a half hour ago. So, it's coming. The storm was supposed to do something. We'll see what it does, but as you can see, not peak glassing conditions at the moment, so I'm gonna run back to camp which the beauty of this truck is camp is wherever I want it to be, but we do have uh, my brother-in-law's camp trailer and everything all set up over here. So we'll run back there and uh, do some waiting, I guess. The bowl, look at that freaking bowl. Takes up the whole bed of my truck, that's a smoker. So, my nephew McKay got it done on a great one. I filmed like one, one two minute thing this morning and while I was out got, trying to glass in the snow, they were out killing big bulls, so. What do you have to say for yourself, young man? It was a lot of work. Really, really crappy deer hunt turned into a really good elk hunt. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm really satisfied. It's a decent first bowl, I guess. No, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so he's busted on his second point right there, but he had it. And uh, that, or sorry, his first point, but his second right there, that point is like 21 inches long. His sword is like pushing 20 and uh, really long beams. Good mature bull, perfect one to kill on a hunt like this. So yeah, didn't get to show you guys a lot, but here's some pictures and video from what I filmed on the hill on my phone. So these guys killed this bull this morning while I was over glassing another spot. It's now afternoon. Check him out, I haven't seen him yet. But that third looks good. Should be looking bull a little busted up as often happens in these late hunts. Let's see what he's about. That's a freaking sweet bull, dude. Big old thirds. That's a good bull, McKay. That's a freaking good bull. Isn't it? Yeah, dude. Look at those thirds and good swords. So busted, which is the story, but geez, that's a good bull. He's better than he looked in the pictures. Dude, he's sweet. Good mass. Good swords. Dude, he's freaking sweet. <laughs> nice, man. That's a good bull. Freaking be stoked with that sucker. Good job, dude. 
Now you guys already got them mostly quarter. We're just gonna grab the head. Quarters are sitting there and up and over and down to the truck. But nice work, dude. Thanks. What's up? Packing sawzalls around. Don't throw it on my head. Smarter, not harder. Smarter, not harder. <laughs> Such a mountain, man. Dude, you are. I'm gonna put this on your tram, dude. Northern Utah. Turn straight. straight. Huh? Put this Turn straight. Down. That is awesome, dude. Dude, he's got like a 21 inch se uh, second on that one side and yeah. 20 inch thirds. That's a good bull. All right, yeah. let's see. Let's see how you walk up the hill with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a good bull, man. That's a freaking good bull. Yeah. Don't All dig right. his don't dig his tines into the dirt. Yeah, Away we go, loaded down. Got me a little baby, got me a little baby hind quarter. My ears are staying warm. That's good. It's cold out here today. But headed out. Let's go. And I guess this is not gonna be a very long video. My how things change. Woke up to this this morning. I was so toasty in the back of the truck I didn't even notice. Uh, it's just about maybe three or four inches out there is all. It's not a whole lot. Over here looks even less than there was at our camp. So motor in for home now. I got the big bull dead and I get uh, another week at home before it's time to head to Arizona and chase some big bulls with the bow. What's up my friends? So I am headed down today to go shoot my bow in preparation for this Arizona archery elk hunt that I leave on here in a few days. And I got something new. What is it, you might ask? What's the new thing that you got? Well, you're on it right now and you don't even know it. I got a new camera and uh, it's actually sweet. A lot of um, the comments and stuff that I get are people want to see more of the action, more of the shots, more of the draws. And it seems like I'm self-filming and having to like go back and recap and tell you guys what happened instead of being able to show you what happened. So hopefully with this new camera that I've got, you guys will be able to uh, see more of what goes on. We got my target, I guess. Probably need it. All the settings on this camera yet so it'll take me a while to get the footage looking how I want it but I'm excited to have it I've wanted one for a long time and finally due to some increased apparel sales so thanks to you guys finally pull the trigger on one of these things first shot with the broad head 30 yards See what she do. It's been a minute. Whew. That kicked out a little bit funny. Try another one here. One, two, three, grouped up good but low. Pull those bad boys. Maybe make a minor adjustment. Try again. Just gonna move back a little. Try 40. See how she looks. Could have got bumped. Wow, way low as well. So yeah, <laughs> this is a good reason why you always check your bow when you.
to get back from places. This bow is shooting 10 yards off. So if I just shoot my other pin, it's right on. It's just weird. I'm going to shoot here. This is 50 yards. I'm going to shoot my 60 pin. Lethal. That's a dead bull. Like in the bullseye. Well, I guess I got some stuff to figure out here because my pins are 10 yards off. I still have a 20 to a 60 like that because I did have a 70 and 80 that I don't ever really shoot anyway. So I can go hunting like that, but it just kind of messes with my head. I think the issue is that that side is a little bit bent. This side is a little bit bent. Um, but I don't know. I don't know why on this setup I'm always so far down on my side box. Frustrating. Um, but I guess the only thing I can do is go Google it, see what there is uh, for information out there. I shot actually really, really well um, as far as consistency goes and grouping. Everything was about two to three inches right, but um, if I just, it's exactly 10 yards off, so if I just gap down 10 yards, every single pin is on, so I can actually take this pin out and then my pins will just be on. So that's kind of the plan, I guess, unless I can find something different that I want to tear my whole setup apart tomorrow but is what it is i still have a few days till the hunt starts so i'm all right so just as in the way of a little update um i got on the phone with my buddy last night jeff helm who is the man one of the best people alive he facetimed me walked me through how to adjust my rest my knock point and a few other things in order to get my arrow sitting where it needed to sit and fix that little thing that was out of adjustment so now bow shooting good i'm gonna go shoot it one more time today and verify and then i am loaded up and headed to arizona to go chase elk but Everything's good with the bow. Anyway, that'll be the next video is hunting Arizona elk on a big bull tag, and uh, I'll catch up with you then. I normally thank people right here who bought apparel, but I did that all in the last video, like 50 people. So I will just say thank you to all of you who watch this video. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next one.